In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH3 plus HI, ammonia plus hydroiodic acid. So first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation and it is already balanced, so that's good. Next, we write the state for each substance. We're gonna assume here that this ammonia is aqueous, dissolved in water. We know that hydroiodic acid, that's a strong acid, so that's gonna dissolve in water. It'll also dissociate into its ions. And then ammonium compounds, compounds with an ammonium ion, they are very soluble. They'll dissolve and dissociate. So next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. It's important to know that ammonia is a weak base. And because it's a weak base, that means it's a weak electrolyte. It won't really break apart into its ions very much, just a little bit. So in net ionic equations, even though it's dissolved, it's a weak base, weak electrolyte. We're just going to write NH3. We're not going to split it apart. I'll write the states later. Hydroiodic acid, though, we said that's a strong acid. So hydrogen, group one on the periodic table, has a one plus charge. Iodide forms this one minus. So we have our hydrogen ion, and then we have our iodide ion. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. The ammonium ion has a one plus ionic charge. Good one to remember. And we said iodine forms a one minus ions. So we'll have NH4 plus plus the iodide ion, I minus. And we split this apart because it's aqueous and it's strong electrolyte as well because of the ammonium ion. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of our complete ionic equation. The only thing I see the same is the iodide ion here in the reactants and again in the products. So I'm going to cross that out. When I do that, that leaves us with our net ionic equation for NH3 plus HI. I'll clean it up and add the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for ammonia plus hydroiodic acid. We have a positive charge on this side, positive on this side. Charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. So this is our balanced net ionic equation. There is one thing, though, we should mention about this ammonia because it's aqueous, because it's dissolved in water. We should mention that when it's in water, it'll react. So it reacts with the water to form ammonium hydroxide, NH4OH. Actually, it's an equilibrium. So some of this changes into this ammonium hydroxide. Actually, not a lot, but enough that it's important. And this, we could write a net ionic equation for ammonium hydroxide plus hydroiodic acid as well. There's a link in the description of this video on how to do that. It's interesting to note that that net ionic equation would be different from the one we came up with in this video. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for NH3 plus HI. Thanks for watching.